Before my accident, I even like I didn't like my life, but now I'm so happy, and uh, I love my life. I love to help to other people. In March 2013, Sevastyan Lukashov nearly died. A motorcycle accident left him in a coma for almost a month and he required extensive cranial surgery, including having a metal plate inserted into his skull before he could begin the long fight back. My mom told me that I was, uh, my parents was turning on my favorite music, uh, was doing a massage. Yes, we speak every minute with him. I don't know, listen to me, no listen to me. But I think that it is help for him. But we believe that uh, everything will be is good. But I cry. <laughs> I cry, cry. Yeah, my mom was crying. <laughs> The cornerstone of Sever's recovery was discovering a new taste and talent for art, a talent that, prior to his accident, he had not been able to realize. Uh, you know, uh, when I was seven years old, uh, my mom said that it would be good if I would do art. I came to the school to draw something, and the uh, teacher said, uh, can you draw some like uh, animals, houses, cars? But it was not very interesting for me. Uh, he said, all right, can you draw what you like? I said, all right. I was drawing some things like, like now, yeah. But it was not really good, I think. Now I draw it better. The teacher said, sorry, it's really bad. Don't, don't draw like this. But with the help of therapist Claire Lester, he found much more than he was expecting. I want to say thank you to Miss Claire because it's the first time when I come to draw. I was also drawing some like people, parents, my family. And I said to, uh, to Miss Claire, Miss Claire, can I draw something? My, my mind, like, she, she said, sure, and I was drawing a picture, something like, you will see, yeah? And she said, oh, it's beautiful, it's amazing. I, I, I was like, really? She said, yes. Uh, I said, thank you very much, yeah, and I started to draw like this. He drew a map of Vladivostok, where he's from, Thailand, where he's living, and Canada where his brother lives and it, he moved a lot as he was creating this piece and from then I thought right we're going to try something totally different next week um, I put a, a huge piece of canvas on the on the wall and um, I got loads of paints out big brushes because he not only needed to rehabilitate himself but it was his movements his gross motor skills um, and really just moving and moving to music as well as getting what had happened to him out onto the canvas. The 18-year-old's first solo exhibition, I Love My Life, opened at British International School last week and chronicles his year of art therapy and has revealed an extraordinary new artist. So this picture means that um, Phuket was helping me to, how to, to survive after my accidents. If it was happening for me in Russia, it will be very difficult for me to recover by myself, my, my brain. working together for a year and from that first session um, he used to 
use his ha hold his hands, support his arms as he was uh, as he was working because he had trouble with his mobility. Um, he used to support him, himself. The way that he walked was very difficult to start off with, but in the year he went from using bigger paintbrushes to smaller paintbrushes. He can move quicker. Um, and the movements that he made to create his paintings became very different over the course of the year. And something in the music and something in the painting that he was doing would trigger either a, um, a feeling of a place or a feeling of a person that he would create in his pieces. For me, uh, Mozart music is helping for me to draw pictures. So, uh, also, uh, Mr. Richards gave me a music, it's South, um, South American music, which I also really like it. it. It makes me more happy, you know, to remember how life is good. Uh, this picture about my father's village in Russia. It's in the forest. It's uh, winter time and it's really cold and uh, my father has a sauna. So from the sauna we, I remember we run to the river and dive into the river and then come back to the sauna. First time I was Th three years old, I think, yeah. Yeah, it, it was great. Art uh, helping uh, for my son to make uh, his life, his feeling, his memory. Miss Claire <laughs> open, opened my son. And we, together, can do it. Seva is also now exploring other talents he did not know he had before the accident. Uh, now, nowadays I can play not very good, but I can play on piano, guitar, guitar, drums. Because of, after my accident, you know, my my mom told me that it will be good for my brain that if I, I will do this. His brain is going to continue to heal over a number of years and that's where the art is going to help, the creativity within that. It's going to make connections in his brain further um, and it's going to continue to heal. I hope he does take that further because within his artwork there's something very special. Uh, this is picture about my city in Russia. When I was drawing this picture, it, it was uh, almost more than one more than one year when I haven't been in my own city. I was really missing my city. So I, I just asked, dear Miss Claire, that can I draw by myself about winter in. Russia and I, I told her it's you will see that it's not like a winter you will see not like a picture you will see my own memory about uh, winter time in my city uh, and also I want to say really thank you thank you so much to Miss Claire thank you really much <sighs> yeah.